Hello! Today we're going to pick up with Judges chapter 18 in the story of Micah. Um, this took place at a time when there was a lot of corruption and liberal interpretation of the law. In those days Israel had no king, and in those days the tribe of the Danites were seeking a place of their own. Because of oppos opposition from the Amorites and the Philistines, they were unable to occupy that territory. So the Danites sent five warriors to go out and explore the territory to see if they could find some place for them to live. They entered the hill country of Ephraim and came to the house of Micah, where they spent the night. When they were near Micah's house, they recognized the voice of the Levite, probably his, the Levite priest, probably by his dialect or accent. This priest, this young Le Levite, was living in Micah's house, and the five warriors that were out scouting the land approached him and said, who brought you here? What are you doing here? Why, you know, what's up with this? So he explained that Micah had hired him to be his priest. The, the men then sought his um, input as an oracle. They said to him, please inquire of God to learn whether our journey will be successful. And the priest answered, told them exactly what they wanted to hear. He said, go in peace. Your journey has the Lord's approval. So the five men left and came to Laish, where they saw that the people there were living in safety. Unsuspecting and secure. They had no alliances, just a, a peaceful people. So they returned to Zorah and Ishtael and told their brothers that they could come attack, that things were peaceful and that they weren't going to run into a lot of opposition and they could come take over this territory. So 600 men from the clan of the Danites, armed for battle, set off from Zorah and Ishtael and went to this land where the people were living peacefully. They came to Micah's house, and as they came up to Micah's house, they went into the, to the household and took the household gods and the idols. And then they approached the priest and told him to come with them. And he said, why should I come with you? And they said, well, wouldn't you rather lead 600 men than live in one house and just be a priest to one? So they appealed to his ego, and the priest went along with them. Now Micah comes out of his house and says, what are you doing? How can you leave me here? And the priest said, hey, I'm going with them. And Micah shouted out saying, you took the gods that I made and my priest and you're leaving with them. What else do I have? And the day night said, don't argue with us or some hot tempered men will attack you and you and your family will lose your lives. So the Danites went on their way and Micah, seeing that they were too strong for him, turned around and went back home. So they took what Micah had made, they took his priest and they went on to Laish and be fought against the peace peaceful and unsuspecting people and took over and settled there, built a city and there was a lot of turmoil over the years in that part of the land that was not actually the land that had been allotted for the descendants of Dan. The point of the story that I take from this uh, that really touches me is the, the, the situation for Micah, who is a man who should be believing in God and has a Levite priest who comes to him and could lead him in godly ways. And instead, the priest succumbs to the idols and the ego and all of the corruption that's going on there. And poor Micah is so lost when his priest and his idols are taken away and says, you know, what am I to do? And that's so easy can happen for any of us that if we find our loyalties misplaced and we're not, in fact, obedient to God, that we're lost and we don't know what to do. So I pray that for anyone in that situation, you find the light and the guidance that you need and find a priest that does better than this uh, young Levite priest. Have a blessed week. Bye.